today we are outside the teaching garden here at Woodward Park and joining me is Andy Fusco. Andy, we always enjoy coming over here and it looks like you've got some begonias to talk about today. We sure do. We have 50 varieties of begonias. That's five zero. That's a lot of begonias. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this area is what we call our trial beds. Okay. So every year we work with our partners, Southwood Landscape and Garden Center, uh, to trial. It's an informal trial, but different types of bedding plants. So every year it's something new and this year it's begonias. It's begonias. And I think we all know what a begonia is. Yeah. We've heard of them. They come in white and pinks and reds, right? But who would have known there is actually so much variety in the, the bedding a uh, annual begonia, right? Yeah, exactly. And that's what's really cool about having them all right next to each other is you see them in the, in the garden center or the big box store and you think, okay, that's a begonia and that's right. a begonia and that's a begonia. But here next to each other, you can really compare and contrast and find some cool varieties for your yard. And they plants. have some unique uh, defining interests. Yeah, them. they really do. So a lot of these are, it's a set of probably, I think 10 or 15 series. So you've got some in the same series that are pink flowered or red flowered, but then you even have bronze or green foliage too. So you okay. can really find what you're looking for. So these are all full sun begonias, correct? Yes. Um, and so again, 50 of them, some of them have more of that angel wing type leaf. Some of them have just that round circular spoon shaped leaf. Yeah, so some of them uh, have the bigger leaves and the angel wing, that kind of half heart look of uh -huh. a wing at some of your like houseplant style begonias. And then some of them are the little mounded begonias that a lot of us are used to putting in with our Joseph's coat or whatever. Okay. Uh, and then some of them are multi-flowered and some of them have some really tall, cool flowers. There's a variety that I really like. It's called Top Hat and they've got some really big flowers on there. Okay, so you can kind of step back and actually see which one's gonna give you the biggest show. Yeah, and then you can come right now. They've been planted, they've been in the ground for about a week or so, and then you can follow them along all summer long. And so come August, you know, we're gonna do our best, but you might see that eh, those actually didn't do as well for our Oklahoma summers, or those did great, and those really filled out really nicely. Right, and that's what's so critical about this, is they're right next to you, they're getting the same treatment, right? You're yep. managing them like you would yep. any of your other flowers here, I assume. Yep. Um, and so hopefully we can come back in August and see really which ones are shining at that point. Yep, and they've all got their little name tags so you can kind of make notes if you come along. It's not a formal trial. It's not randomized or anything like you would do uh, uh, at a university or anything. It's just really for the public to see, compare and contrast the wide variety of bedding plants that we have. But right here in the Oklahoma sun. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, they're getting the full treatment. Okay, and this is outside of your fence, so anytime basically. Yeah, you it's, drive by. it's in what we call Woodward Park proper. So anytime from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. you can come stop by, check them out. And... All right, well, thank you so much, Andy. And we hope to check back with you about these begonias later in the season. Yeah, well. come back and see us. All right, thanks. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.